Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be trying something different to the video formula that I usually do. I want to start possibly making an update video on the previous deck that I played before to kind of give you guys an idea how the deck is performing after the video on the deck is out. This is going to be a much shorter video format to give you guys a digest on the previous deck that I featured on my YouTube channel. And maybe it'll inspire people to try playing the deck. But the main reason is I make these cool decks, but I don't, I don't really get to play them too often because by the time I get to sit down and play them again, I need to start looking for another deck ideas to make a video again. So, so today I sat down and played a bunch of games of this uh, terrible ramp deck that I created last time, and it was, it was a blast. First of all. I did update the deck to be Celestia because my Iron Wish board has a copy of Portable Hole. The deck does have ways to generate any mana with some, some of the mana dorks I have in here, such as Paradise Druid, but you know, it doesn't really hurt to play a lane that also generates white mana, so just as a backup. I am only playing the Shock Lane here because the land type does matter in the deck since I am playing Nissa, and Nissa here cares about your land type being a forest. but. Let's take a look at my score first, and as you can see, I mean, I was very surprised. 17 and 2? And best out of 1, ranked. And this is before I changed the deck to Celestia, and now this is after I changed to Celestia. And if you go second 7 times in your last 9 games, then your score kinda start looking something like this. But, and I couldn't really believe how powerful it was. And if you think about it, if you go first, and you start with Leyline, the deck just feels so broken since if you start with Gilded Goose or Lana or Elf, you have 4 mana next turn and play Karn or Sable for Nissa the following turn, they just can't catch up to how much mana you have. And obviously, drawing Leyline is not optimal, but it's not so bad because you can keep pumping your team and Nissa already gives you a boatload of mana to spend on. So every turn I feel like I'm, I'm efficiently spending all my mana with Leyline. But let's talk about what is so great about this deck. First, being able to mainboard a graveyard hate that is playable is huge in this format. Well, technically, I'm not mainboarding a graveyard hate, but I can play Karn into Tormod's Crypt, which can answer things like Dragonstorm or Reanimator, which is a very popular combo deck that utilizes graveyard. Second, Ugin is no joke right now. Have you all noticed that all the most popular creature decks at the moment don't have any haste creatures? The Ugin used to be pretty bad, considering that it, it is an 8 mana card, although it's very powerful. By the time you play this, especially in a meta with goblins, goblins could kill you in a single turn with haste, but that's not the case anymore. Because now we have creature decks such as life gain decks, human decks, blink decks, that are way more popular currently. Especially the life gain decks. But let's say you're playing against life gain decks. If you start with Leyline or some Mana Dorks into Ugin, the game is instantly over in your favor. Okay, so next, let's take a look at the control decks right now. So what are the what are they currently playing at the moment? They're playing things like they're playing things like Strict Proctor and Lotus Field, right? Which in this deck we don't care about since we don't play any Enter the Battle Effect creatures other than the three copies of Lana or a Visionary that we play. And by the time they feel threatened, so most of the games, the way the game plays out is you do play your mana doors, right? As early as turn one, and you keep poking them, and they're gonna start feeling threatened to use their board wipe because their life is taking down, right? And by the time they board wipe and they tap out, then we get to play Nissa. And lastly, the, the newest addition to this ramp deck which is storm the festival this car is just icing on the cake because just take a look at the amount of top end permanence that we played that gets hit with the storm the festival so i was iffy at first but it's been good so far but before we close this out let's talk about the shortcomings of the deck the killed goose all right this car is by far the worst card in our deck and I really wish we had an alternative option to this. Like, as you can see here, like, we have nothing. One mana that generates... One mana card that generates a mana. Nothing. Except Lanor Elf. And even the game knows how terrible Gilded Goose is. 
The moment you play it, it just crashes the game. But jokes aside, please Wizard of the Coast give us Elvish Mystic. It would improve the deck so much. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button as well because it does really help and motivate me to make more videos like this in the future. Bye-bye.